Are you playing baseball here right now? This is the, awesome. Yes. What year are you? Oh, wow. So you got a lot of good years ahead of you. Perfect. Thank you. So you're in the middle of the season right now? Or? Well, we're excited about the, the team and the coaching staff that have been put together for 2019. Uh, we're five weeks into our off-season program. It's been a great five weeks. We've got four more weeks to go before the summer break, and hopefully we can have a great four weeks, and we'll have about 12 to 13 practices and get the chance to really uh, build our offense and our team for uh, what hopes to be a great 2019. Well, we certainly have a lot of pieces in place. I feel really good about um, you know, our top talent, and uh, I think our draft produce some players who can really help us right away and um, you know when you add some of the additions on our coaching staff I think those were real positive additions for us so uh, when you put it all together I'm excited about the talent in that building and uh, now we need to stay healthy and uh, find a way in the last two minutes of games to be able to come out with a win. Well it's just encouragement uh, I understand that um, you know, there's a lot of overreaction in both directions at the quarterback position uh, certainly uh, the higher levels you play and when you play well, everyone tells you how great you are, and, and um, maybe it's not as deserved. And then when you don't have as productive of a year, everyone you know, kind of overreacts and talks about what's wrong. And so I just wanted to encourage him, make sure he comes into his final year at Michigan State, enjoying the journey and, and ready to uh, play with confidence. And he has all the ability, and um, you know the coaching staff will put him in a position to be successful. And, and uh, you know you hope that the, the players around him, you know, live up to what they need to do. And, and when that comes together. Uh, I think he'll be ready to have a phenomenal senior year. I think it's very impressive what he's been able to do. Um, you know, he, he won a state championship, something I was unable to do in high school, and then uh, uh, you know went on to great success. And um, to be undrafted and then have the success he's had on multiple teams in the NFL. Um, you know, he's still in the middle of his career. I think there's there's great years ahead of him. And uh, I still haven't had the chance to play with him, so I'm looking forward to that. And maybe someday we'll cross paths in the NFL. I think that that would be a lot of fun. It's a great division. I mean, first of all, the history. I mean, all four teams are pretty iconic in the NFL to begin with. And then certainly I grew up in the Chicago suburbs, and so when we play the Bears on the road, there's a lot of family friends there, and it certainly takes down memory lane. And then when we come play the Lions, even though it's the east side of the state, I feel like I'm going home. You know, when we played them last year right before Christmas, I called my family and I said when we landed in, in Detroit, I, I do feel like I'm home. You know, Michigan means a lot to me. So um, that's a great opportunity and a dream come true to play against the team you grew up seeing on TV every every Sunday. And then obviously the Green Bay Packers, you know, have one of the best players in the world at quarterback and, uh, and our iconic franchise as well. So uh, it means our work is cut out for us. You know, we've got a big, big challenge every year playing those three teams. But, um, uh, you win the division, you get a home playoff game, so that's always where our focus is, is to win the NFC North.